next wave in innovation. These days, we seem to be working harder to take shorter steps and smaller advances within our industries and fields. If only life could be like nuclear fusion, where two nuclei combine to form a new one that releases a massive amount of energy. Actually, it is. Fertile ground for big innovation lies in the spaces between industries, fields, functions, technologies, countries and more. A fusion in business, technology and the arts can release a massive amount of value and create whole new companies, industries and human capabilities. But how? We've learned from people who've done it and created a series called Fusion to share insights you can use based on who they are and how it happened, such as Nokia and Sony, the world's first digital music deal and first contract between the music and mobile phone industries. It helped create a new market, ringtones, which topped $2 billion in 2011. Also, silk fibre-injected vaccines that need no refrigeration, now in development to bring polio prevention to millions in the developing world. Also, a company called by CIO magazine, one of the 100 most innovative firms in the world, founded by an artist and quantum chemist. And better lives for 450,000 people, led by a non-school principal. A fusion of education and social programs, social castes, with and without disabilities, rich and poor. Who are these innovators? How did it happen? How might we do more of the same? To find out, keep reading and listening to Fusion, how world-class innovators create the unexpected.